Do you remember something called the Green Revolution as Obama was deciding to give tens of billions of dollars to the murderous regime in Tehran, the mullahs, the IRGC Republican Guard? What did he do to support those fighting for freedom, the Persians of Iran? Uh, nothing. He helped the regime. And just this week, I think he may have found a conscience. Let's listen to Obama. When I think back to 2009, 2010, you, you guys will recall, there was a, a big debate inside the White House yep. about whether I should publicly affirm uh, what was going on with the Green Movement because a lot of the activists were being accused of being tools of the West right. and there was some thought that we were somehow going to be um, uh, undermining their street cred in Iran mm -hmm. if I uh, supported what they were doing. Uh, and in retrospect, I think that was a mistake. He's not really good without a teleprompter, is he? I thought this was the great orator. And to say hundreds, thousands murdered, in retrospect, I think it was a mistake not to help them. Is it different now? The headlines are shocking. Women pushing back on the regime, the murderous regime, being killed, being brutalized. If their hijab isn't just right, the headlines are absolutely appalling. Is it different this time? Is there a chance for freedom? Let's ask two very special guests here on America, on our show here on Newsmax. We have Lisa Duftari. She's the founder, the editor-in-chief of Foreign Desk News and broadcasting to the people of Persia. We had Ahmad Obali, who is the founder and host of Gunaz TV. Welcome both of you to the Gorka Reality Check. Uh, Lisa, let's start with you. We see this periodically. We see the brave people of Persia stand up, resist. Is this just another instance of what we've seen before, or is this qualitatively different? Is there a chance this time? Right, it is different, and it has a lot of different characteristics. The thing it has in common with all the other movements is that there are a lot of people coming out on the streets, not just women. There are men, women, children, but their message is always the same, and it has been throughout each movement that we have seen. The catalyst may have been different, but the message on the streets, the slogans, the chants that you hear are always the same. They are about freedom, death to the dictator. They are not parsing their words. And in 2009, they were asking President Obama for support, and they asked for President Obama's support this time around, and they asked for Nancy Pelosi's support, and they asked for anybody's support who has some sort of, of uh, political popularity here in the West, and they know that they have these platforms. And, you know, if President Obama is so regretful of what he did in 2000, why did it take him and his wife a month to offer support this time around? Uh, and secondly, I mean, he says that there was a debate in the White House. I mean, why was there a debate as to whether or not to support <laughs> a democratic freedom supporting movement? And then, OK, if you're very uh, caught up about whether or not to offer support to the protesters for, for the optics, what's the alternative? You gave billions of dollars to their regime? Yeah. That will truly undermine the movement of the people to legitimize the regime with the billions of dollars that was given to them through the JCPOA. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of Absolutely. hesitation it's from an, the it's West. An and... Absolutely. It's an outrage. It's an outrage. Uh, I, need to, I need to talk to Mr. Obali. Ahmad, um, as the child of those who were liberated in the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, uh, my understanding of freedom fights is at some point the regime has to have elements that help the good guys. In Hungary, if you look at the footage, there are elements of the communist army that handed over their weapons, uh, gave tanks over to the freedom fighters. You are broadcasting into Iran. You know the will of the Persian people. Is, is there a chance that this murderous regime will fracture, will break? Will people who have power, who have guns, help those who want freedom? What are you hearing? I think this time around, uh, Seb, is different from even 2009, the Green so-called movement, because the Green movement was basically element of the internal part of the regime. This was was competing with the other part, like reformists versus the conservatives. This time around, as you may know, Iran is a multi-ethnic, multi-nation country. We have Baluchis in Baluchistan, Arabs in Ahwaz. We have Kurds in Kurdistan, Azerbaijanis. 
uh, in Azerbaijan, Turkmen's law, Bakhtiari, the, the Northerners, the Persians. So the Iran is is not is a country of all minorities. In fact, the Persians are not even uh, not no single uh, ethnic group is majority. But this time around, everybody is involved. Versus 2009, where it was basically Tehran around and the surrounding area. So if this continues as as we see it is, with all the ethnic groups uh, chanting death to dictator, yeah. also asking for their own rights, I think this time around it looks a little bit different. It, this could be a beginning of end. Well, it's it should be exciting to all Americans because if 1776 means something, this is akin to 1776. And, and look what's happening in Ukraine. We just had the news that those bombings of civilian targets in Kiev were done by the Russians using Iranian drones. Just think about that. Iran giving drones to Russia to bomb civilians in Ukraine. It's a freedom fight there. It's a freedom fight in Iran. And it was a freedom fight here in 1776. God bless the people of Iran. Thank you, Lisa, for doing what you do. Thank you so much for Gunas TV and everything that you do, Ahmad. Next here on America First, Dr. G's prescription. You want to see the clip that I've got for you.